Hi everyone and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team. And remember, you can use the code LORIMAR15 to get 15% discount on your next Spiegel Mom Scraps order. This layout, be forewarned, I used a lot of sequins. Um, I started out with five different colors from Shimmers. I used Princess, Love Ocean number nine, I used um, Chickadee and Keep a Palm. The yellow one is Chickadee, I think it is. Because the green one is um, Don't Sit On Me. And the pink one is Razzle Dazzle Berry. And then I do come in with some other colors, other um, to like make, you know, different color variations on these five color swatches, so to speak. Um, if you're interested in knowing all the different colors that I've, that I've used, um, I'll have them written down below. Um, <coughs> but I, uh, apart from spraying them, the other technique that I used with them is um, splattering them with my paint, with my brush all around. For the blue, I also used Heidi Ho Blue. I used um, P Lime for green. I used Blue Jeans for purple, Magenta for the pink. So I, again, different colors. And then I'm adding some white acrylic paint to really make it like an artsy background. So as with everything mixed media, you have to leave, let it dry. And then the next day I come back and this one eighth, one eighth of an inch, inch tape, you can get it in the shop uh, over at Spiegel Mom's Scraps. So what I'm adding is I'm adding two strips of this tape to each of the colors because my idea is that I'm going to stick the sequins onto these strips of tape. Now. Some of them are longer, some of them are shorter, because um, I don't want it to be like too uniform. And then what I do is just, I remove the backing and start sticking them down. It does take me around 10 to 15 minutes to stick them all down. And I'm doing them in tone of, in tone, I'm doing them tone on tone. So I'll type all the sequins that I used. I tried to use one sequin packet per um, per strip of um, of tape, just to you know get the different color variations from within each of the um, sequin packets. It's a great way to use up sequins, especially if you have like half full sequin packets. This is one way to really bash them out and make way for new sequin packets because <laughs> really Jody does outdoes herself every time you know bringing in so many gorgeous sequin packets so here's how it turned out I love how it turned out um, I pulled you know just to add a bit of, a bit of embellishing I pulled out um, ephemera chipboard stickers and thickers from Vicky Booten's The One Before Storyteller. I forgot that collection's name. And I don't want to take away too much from the background, much less from the sequence. So I'm doing a bit of tone on tone. I'm trying to find an ephemera piece or any embellishment that's in that sort of color. Um, you know, either green, pink, purple, blue, or yellow, and I'm placing them likewise. One other thing that I will mention, the pop-up tape that I'm using, you can definitely also find it in the shop um, over at Spiegel Mom Scraps. So the sequins and both tapes that I've used today, you can definitely pick them up at the Spiegel Mom Scraps um, shop. You can also check to see which colors of, se of shimmers um, Jody has in her shop to pick up your shimmers. 
So yeah, that's the 3D tape that I'm talking about. It's so... I love it. Um, because it's not too thick. So it's easy for you to like build up your layout without adding too much, um, like a whole lot of bulk. So I went ahead, I stocked my picture down, I used a, some patterned paper to create a mat between beneath my picture, and then I get to sticking down the embellishments. I place all of these embellishments really tight around my picture. Some of them are even layered on top of the picture, just so that, um, just so that I don't cover up the background. And since my picture does have a bit of white space, especially at the top, um, well, I'm able to play with that. But I love, I love how this layout turned out. And really, I hope that this serves as an inspiration to make your own background and use all those sequins to enhance your story documenting. And then, since I had quite a bit of empty spaces between the bigger ephemera pieces, I tried to look through the chipboard stickers and other ephemera pieces to like snuggle them between um, the larger pieces of embellishments. <coughs> I add that border, um, not that border, but that strand, that banner beneath my picture, and finally get to add the title. The title is The Good Stuff and it'll have, a, it'll have a black arrow beneath it to point, which points to the picture and that's definitely the good stuff because you know my kids were acting like like teenagers they were just sitting on the couch watching a bit of YouTube you know supervised of course but I don't know, they just looked so cute and I definitely had to snap a picture of them um, just like that. And so <coughs> I'm almost done. I'm adding just a couple of thickers in, you know, tone on tone. I splatter a bit of top of the morning, um, which is also from Shimmers. And here are the close-ups. Again, I love how this layout turned out. I hope that I've inspired you to use your tapes and your sequins to bash some serious sequins and get your stories documented. If anything guys, I will see you back soon with another process video. Take care.